Hello everyone, I'm Fran from Fixed Team. In this lesson, I will explain to you some tools for our mobile phone repair. Because most of you are novice, so the understanding of the tools may not be too familiar. So this lesson will explain to everyone what tools are needed in our mobile phone motherboard repair and how these tools operate. Let me introduce to you what our tools are. This is the DC power supply, hot air gun. This is the multimeter. This is a trinocular microscope. And this is a soldering iron. Our maintenance is basically these big tools. Okay, let's introduce the tools one by one. Okay, let's first explain our hot air gun. This air gun is very commonly used tools in repairing mobile phones. We use a 861D quick hot air gun as the object of explication. Then you can see that the temperature is right in here. This is the temperature adjustment button. One to increase and one to decrease. Here is one adjustment of air speed. One increase and one decrease. In the middle is a display. The middle will show the temperature and air speed. And there is a power button. These are three shortcut key below. At the same time, you can see that generally all air guns are equipped with three air nozzles. First, this is 4 mm. This is a 6 mm nozzle. This is an 8 mm nozzle. Generally, there will be three nozzles with one air gun. The one we use most is this 6 mm. Airspeed, temperature, and this nozzle, which one is used? It is determined according to the size of the chip you need to solder. This specific adjustment will be talked to you in the following courses. Now, let me teach you how to use the air gun. You can clearly see that the temperature is adjusted here. Here is to adjust the airspeed. Here are the three most commonly used temperature and wind speeds. Generally, 320 degrees is very commonly used. The wind speed it match should be 30 to 40. We set it to 30 here. We can long press the channel 1 button. Wait until it has a confirmation sound. The combination of temperature and air speed is already in this button by default. We adjust it at will. When we need to use this temperature and wind speed, we just click the channel 1. It will automatically adjust back to this temperature and airspeed. Similarly, this channel 2 and channel 3 are the same. Let's set it up. For the second temperature, we generally use 360 degrees and the airspeed is generally 40. Then we continue to press and hold the channel 2 button. Ok, it is confirming. So the combination of temperature and airspeed is already confirmed in channel 2. Similarly, the third temperature is generally 390 degrees and airspeed 40. We set it in in channel 3. Well, these three are very common temperature and wind speed combinations are already set in this area. As you can see, when we press channel 1, it shows 320 and 30. The temperature will drop to the temperature you need. It is very convenient. When our mobile phone is repaired, 
we can directly match this commonly used temperature and airspeed. You won't waste too much time to adjust. Channel 2 is set to 360 40 just now. It will adjust it to this temperature and wind speed. Channel 3 is 390 and 40. It will adjust it to the temperature and wind speed of the shortcut key we just set. Okay, next, let's introduce the second paragraph. The tool we often use, this is a soldering iron. For our soldering iron, we use the TS1200A soldering iron from Quick. His operation is not much different from that of a hot air gun. But for the soldering iron, everyone must remember, be sure to add some water to this sponge. Because every time we finish work, the soldering iron tip will get thin. We need to clean it up. Then you can see that the middle one is power button. Here is the bond of temperature increase and temperature decrease. Then there are three shortcut channels key as above. We generally adjust the temperature of this soldering iron to 350 degrees. Generally, 350 degrees is normal. We rarely change the temperature of this soldering iron. As long as this soldering iron can work normally, generally 350 degrees is enough. Next, we will introduce how to replace the soldering iron tip. You can see it is three soldering irons, three different soldering iron tips. One is straight, one is bent, one is the color head. This is from three different color heads. Next, tell everyone how to replace. Because this soldering iron has tight temperature and it is difficult to replace, you must pay attention to safety. First, we turn this off. Because there is water on it, we cool it down. Then we need to use this, the protective pad that is come with the original factory to remove. When removing it, we also need a block. We hold it and pull it out directly, so that is remove it. We can replace it too, just use it directly, just plug it in. But when we press it, we must press it to the end. Let's test it again. It is working normally. It has been heating up. And this soldering iron heats up very quickly. Let me show you. If you don't install this soldering iron, it will show you what is wrong. If we don't install it properly, did not insert it to the bottom, if the tip of the soldering iron is not in contact with the handle, its heating element cannot conduct heat. And this display will show you heater open circuit. It will show you that the sensor is open, which proves that your soldering iron tip and the handle are not in good contact. We need to push this soldering iron tip in. Plug it down to the lowest point and it will work normally. Just mention it, we have several different soldering tips. This soldering iron tip is used in different places. For example, this curl head will have a larger contact surface. So we often use this curl head to remove glue on the motherboard. The second one is this sharp curl head. We usually use this kind of tip on the jumper. We will tell you these specific words in a later course. 
Some students may not see the difference between these soldering iron tips just now. We will give you a view under the microscope. First of all, you can see that this one is relatively straight. This obviously has an arc. And this one is head with larger contact surface. They are not the same. There are three kinds of heads. The curl head on the far right is generally used for chip removal. Regarding chip removal, we will teach later in the course. The middle one. This one is generally used on the jumper because it is curved. They have a sharp point of contact and this is the same.